stuck sitting here. Okay, McKenna. Let's see it. Come on. <sighs> okay, ouch. <sighs> Not bad. Try again. Try to keep your balance. Come on, point the toes. Come on, point the toes. Good girl. Okay. Why don't you want me to take a break? Thanks, Coach. I am kind of tired. Oh, you poor thing. What's your problem? Nothing. I don't have a problem. Well, apparently you do, because you're obviously mad at me about something, so you might as well just tell me, because I'm going to drag it out of you if I have to. What is going on? Nothing. It's just that ever since you you got that concussion last year... What concussion? Please don't play that game with me. I'm not playing anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean when he hurt your leg. Well, yeah, that's different. What about it? Well, you made All-Star. The regional competitive team, yeah. What's wrong, Em? I don't know. It just seems like all Mom talks about is you all the time. I used to tap dance, but I had to quit because I had to focus on my schoolwork. You don't have to quit gymnastics. That's because I find time, like, easier. Because, I mean, I'm in fifth grade now. Okay, I was in fourth grade last year and had trouble in school, but then I had to tutor, and now I'm pretty good at what I do. And also with school, too. Yeah. Whatever. Are you mad at me? Just go practice like you need all the attention on you. Everything is about you. That's not true, Emily. It is too true. I mean, ever since you got made the competitive team, you've been getting so much attention. Well, it's not my fault. Yeah, it is, because you show off. I don't show off, Emily. McKenna, are you ready to try again? I'll be right there, Coach Isabel. Show off. Two things I really don't like. She is Listening to snowblowers in the summertime, wintertime, and listening to she is lawnmowers in the summertime. Ugh. She's such a show off. Always getting what she wants. I wish I had that kind of attention. Used to, but then she came along and had to. Ruin everything. Come in. What are you doing in here, McKenna? You gonna take the room away from me, too? I think we need to talk. Do we? Yeah, we do. Look. I know you're mad at me because I get a lot of attention, but you get attention too. Remember when you were in that tap dance competition and you won first place? Yeah, that was great until you ruined everything. How did I ruin that? Because you had to do so well in your gymnastics. You got attention when you had, when your leg, when you broke your leg, and you had attention when you made the regionals. And now it's like, it's always you, you, you. 
I'm tired of being in your shadow. You're not in my shadow. You're good at dancing, too. Yeah, well, it would be nice if Mom and Dad would, find, would notice that I'm good at tap dancing so they could focus on me for once. But ever since you joined gymnastics, she, she, it's like I'm not even there. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Emily, but I don't know what to do. Of course you don't, because you're too busy getting attention. Emily, look, just leave me alone, okay? I just wish I can get attention like you. This isn't about getting attention, is it? No. Why don't you tell me what's really wrong? It's just I miss spending time with you. What are you talking about? We're sisters. We live in the same house. I'm kind of serious. Gymnastics are taking up so much of our time that you hardly talk to me anymore. And when we're home, when you're free, all you do is practice your gymnastics. Well, I'm sorry, but gymnastics are important to me, and I want to do well in it. I mean, the regional competitor team's a lot stricter than the regular gymnastics team I was in. I know, it's just... I miss you. So this thing about me getting attention isn't the, isn't what's wrong. No, I'm proud of you. You should get attention. But I just, I don't know. It's like I don't even know you anymore. I'll tell you what. This Saturday I don't have practice or anything. So how about me and you spend the day together? Just the two of us. Really? Mm-hmm. But what if your friends want to come and you'll ignore me? I'm not going to ignore you because I'm not going to invite my friends. I'll just say, I want to spend time with my sister. Aren't they going to be mad? I don't think so, but if they did, it doesn't, doesn't matter. They don't have brothers and, or sisters, so, you know. But I have a sister, and I don't, you're my only sister, and I want to hang out with you. I know we haven't hung out much since I went to... The competitive team. So how about on Saturday, me and you spend the day together. I could even treat us to lunch. We can go to the McDonald's that's right down the street. Can I get a Happy Meal? Whatever you want. Thanks. Okay. On that note, can I? do you mind if I practice my gymnastics? No, I don't mind. Go on. Okay. I can't wait until Saturday. Okay, <sighs> split. Come in. Hi, honey. Hey, mom. Um, can you please get out of that split for a minute? I need to talk to you. Okay, hold on. What's up? Um... I got a call from your teacher. Okay. He said, um... He said what? You failed your reading test again. I didn't fail, I got a D. That's not enough. You're gonna... Spend the weekend home. Mom, I can't. I promised Emily I would take her out. Well, then you're going to have to disappoint her. Because you're not going anywhere. That's not fair. Emily's excited about us going out together. Can't you make an exception? No. We think gymnastics is taking too much of your time. You know what? You sound like Emily. Well, she's right. Your schoolwork has to come first, McKenna. So you're going to study this weekend. But what do I tell Emily? Tell the truth. That you failed. A reading test can't take her. You'll take her next week. But next week I have a gymnastics meet. You'll figure it out. But mom, come on, please. Just one exception. No. You know you have to study. 
I think you need to cut back on the gymnastics. That's not fair, Mom. Well, life's not fair. This is ridiculous. What am I going to tell her? You'll think of something. But right now, I'm very disappointed in you. I'm sorry, really. Okay, you're sorry, but I'm not going to change my mind. Great. Now what am I going to tell Emily? Mm. 